Hi, it's Tiffany with Cord and Cruise, and today we are talking tiles and bins because to me, this is one of the most important things that gets overlooked when y'all are out buying cars on your own in the open market. That means not at an auction house. You are not checking the VIN on the title against the VIN on the car. Please, I implore you, once you've negotiated the price, you've looked at the car, you've decided this is the one for you, it's mechanically sound according to your needs, make sure that you take the extra step, ask the seller to look at the title and make sure that VIN on the title matches the VIN on the car. Secondarily, while you're looking at that title, please make sure that the title is in the name of the person that is offering the vehicle for sale. That way he can properly sign off on the title. He's gonna sign, he's gonna print, he's gonna date, and you will easily be able to take that title then, put it in your name at your DMV, and do the thing that everybody hates but makes our lives so much easier when it comes time to sell the car, or more importantly, if you lose your title. Take that title to the DMV and transfer it properly in your name. Pay the taxes, just suck it up, buttercup, and pay those taxes and get the title in your name. Because if you don't, and you do, in fact, lose your title, which happens more often than you would think, you are not going to be easily able to get a duplicate title. If you put it in your name and you lose it, you just walk into the DMV and they print you out a duplicate. If you have not done that, you're now talking about hiring a title service and taking at least 45 days and three to $500 to get to your title in your name, which you should have just done in the first place. It's the law anyway, just do it. So hopefully this helps you a little bit when you're buying a collector car, whether online or in person, make better decisions and have a more pleasant buying experience. So honestly, I never know how to, how to end these things. So I'm just going to say goodbye. I hope you have a fabulous week. Itty bitty footnote to everything I just said. When looking at that title, make sure there is no lien and that if there is a lien, that the lien has been signed off for, which denotes that it has been satisfied. If it's not signed off for on the title, make sure there's a piece of paper attached that says the same thing. Anyway, again, have a great week. Over now.